Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Me, myself, I am a big fan of 007's movie. When I was a kid, I was dreaming about being Q in the future. Fortunately, I joined Austin Martin as one of the engineers. So, I got the chance to see all of the great movie stunt vehicles. To start with, the most iconic Aston Martin DB5. Can you tell this car was not made in 50s or 60s? Well, actually, this is a new vehicle. This car was manufactured in 2021. It's still using a DB11 steering wheel. Only 10 vehicles were made for the movie No Time to Die. I'm so jealous of some of my colleagues. They even got a movie crew jacket of No Time to Die. Sorry, my apologies. The third vehicle, Aston Martin V8 Vantage, manufactured in between of 70s and 80s. I got no memory at all for this vehicle, because I was born in 90s. My memory, however, is all about this Aston Martin Vanish. Aston Martin call it Vanquish, we call it Vanish. Pierce was the only 007 in my mind. I can never forget when Pierce used a Sony Ericsson phone to control his car. That's where I said to myself, well, I want to be Q in the future. I want to do something about robotics, I want to do something about microcontrollers and cars. They're superb, we're changing the world, aren't we? We're engineers. The fourth vehicle, the Austin Martin DDS. The most iconic movie scene of an Aston Martin I'd vote for this scene. The movie crew said that they tried nearly everything to roll over the vehicle, but they all failed. Fortunate enough, Richard Hammond told us the story behind. The movie crew put a cannon underneath of the chassis. They used the explosion power to flip over the vehicle. That's how low the central gravity of DB9 and DBSs are. Even better, nowadays, on DB11 and DB12, the central gravity is even lower, and with more easy use of chassis control and motion control. Evolution of engineering. Trust me, even nowadays Aston Martin has adaptive cruise control. What can't we imagine? Maybe in the next 10 years, we will have the technology of Back to the Future. When the vehicle hits 88 miles per hour, We'll go back to the future. The very last one. The most beautiful Aston Martin to my mind. Aston Martin DB10. Super rare vehicle. Only 10 was made for the movie Spectre. Again, movie stunt vehicle. Ah, reminds me how jealous I am of my colleagues that who participated in those programs. Jealous of them. I think this is the most beautiful Aston Martin purely just to taking a look at the unique tail light. It's similar to nowadays as the Martin Vantage, but it's unique. It only belongs to DB10. However, I've never seen this car's interior. Maybe this car doesn't have an interior at all. I want to grab this chance to send this message to all surviving queues taking refugees among the stars. The only type of director I wanted to be is the director of documentary. I want to hear your story. Remember, we are changing the world. We are making the world a better place. Maybe you've been down here too long. The ultimate in British engineering. You must be joking. As I learned from my predecessor, Bond, I never joke about my work. Aston Martin call it the vanquish, we call it the vanish.